but how do you get this one so we will learn about a new function here so hey guys welcome back to our channel on this channel we try to learn various concepts of data science by practicing a lot of questions this video is in continuation of the sql 50 crack sql interview in 50 question series where we are trying to learn hands-on sql using 50 carefully correct questions covering diverse aspects of sql so we are done with the select basic joins basic aggregate functions sorting and grouping advanced select and joins as well as sub queries and we are currently working on advanced string functions rejects and clauses in this video we are going to solve this question called group sold products by the date and try to learn from it so yeah let's jump right in so this is the 48th video of this series called group sold products by date and if i look at the companies this question has been asked in so adobe and some of the startups let's look at what the question has to say we are given a table called activity with two different columns sell date and product date there is no primary key that for for this table it may contain duplicates each row of this table contains the product name and the date it was sold in a market we are asked to write a solution to find for each date the number of different products sold and their names the sold products name for each date should be sorted lexicographically that means by alphabets in ascending order return the result table ordered by sell date let's look at this example so here we have various activities date right so for example if we look at 30th of may 2020 so on 30th of may 2020 there was headphone sold basketball sold as well as t-shirt sold so if you arrange it lexicographically firstly it should come basketball then headphone then t-shirt similarly for others if you look at this right 2nd of june 2020 there is a repetition right because there is no primary key in this table so there are masks but this is a repetition so in our output you should only have one mask for 2nd of june 2020 so if we look at our output let me just drag it to the right so that is easier so for 30th june 2020 there are three products sold arranged in alphabetical manner basketball headphone and t-shirt similarly on 2nd of june 2020 there is only one product that was sold mask even though there is repetition we do not need to include that so yeah, this is how we do it so since it says for every sale date so by now we already know that we need to perform a group by the sale date then we can count the number of distinct products to get the number of sold but how do you get this one so we will learn about a new function here so let me just drag it to the left so what i'm doing is from this table called right so from this table called activities we since we need for every sale date so we group by the cell date and then at the output we need return cell date then if we count the distinct product column then that will give you alias this as number sold that is what we have in the output so number sold but how do you get this column so there is a function called group concat what it does is for every group whatever there is in that particular group it will concat those things separated by whatever separator you give it so here commas are the separators between members of the group so if i go ahead and just use that so here after this we need to get group concat so this is the function name and what do we need we need the products so group concat the product and this should be arranged in lexicographic manner that is it should be ordered by product as well in ascending manner and this should be aliased as there is one thing that is still remains but uh, aliased as products so let me alias this as products okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get okay so if we look at our output uh, let me just drag it to the left so here we have all the stuff that we need but because there was a repetition on 2nd of june that we looked so here mask appears twice so obviously we do not need all the products we need the distinct products so what we can do is group concat the distinct products and also in our output we should order this by cell date as well so we can go ahead and do order by cell date in increasing manner and now let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get in our output so now this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to pass all the test cases 
is so this is accepted and this is how we do it so not a very difficult question the only thing that we had to do was group by the cell date count distinct this is what we already learned earlier in the series but there is a new function that we had to learn in, which was called group concat where we can group various things in a particular group then we can also return whether you want to make it distinct or repetition is allowed that you can also order in that group concat function so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there's a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video